Tau overflows. There is nothing like a spiritual memory. There are two types of memory, factual and psychological memory. Your memory becomes clear, crystal clear, the moment there is no fog of emotions and reactions around it. Normally, there are clouds of emotional disturbances and reactions arising out of that. Now you can meet a person who has insulted you as if he has never insulted you. I repeat it again. Now you can meet a person who has insulted you as if he has never insulted you. Although you know factually that he has insulted you, it is so because now you are not affected by his insult. You know that it is his problem. You have transcended beyond the psychology of the memory. You have transcended beyond the psychology of the memory. There is nothing like a spiritual memory. Your being, your spirit has no past, no future. Past and future arises because of the contents in the memory. It is always in the present. It has no memories no imaginations, no dreams. It is pure existence, uncontaminated by dead past that is no more, or by the unborn future that is not yet. But there are two kinds of memories, the factual and psychological. And the difference between the two is to be understood because it is of great significance to you all. When an individual dies, he goes back to the origin. Just like when you trade your smartphone or laptop, where does it go? The manufacturer will not trade it unless he can refurbish it. So it goes back to the factory, the manufacturer, and it is reset to the factory settings. Now, the screen is clear. There is no memory. There is no past, no future. When you have traded it, it has passed, that it has too much data, and the computer was slow and future was that it may crash any moment. So it goes back to the original source. Now, in case of these devices, they are identified by their serial number, but it is not identified with anything else. There is only one identification. Apple iPhone or Apple laptop or MacBook. Then you program it according to your needs. If you are a musician, you program it accordingly. If you are an accountant, you program accordingly. If you are in any field, you program accordingly. Then only identity remains we are not aliens, nor as strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force. Then the other types of memory. This is an example to explain to you what happens when an individual dies. He goes to the existence and there he is put to the original setting that Aham Brahmasmi but now, because of the elemental memory, because of 
other aspects of the memory, layers of memory, its original nature is lost. Then you are identified with whatever you have programmed your device with. A Muslim programs his device, memory his own way, Hindu, Christian, Jew, everybody programs their system, the operating system according to their choice and likings. A factual memory keeps you only a watcher, you are not involved in it. For example, you remember that yesterday somebody insulted you. If you simply remember that somebody insulted you, it is a fact. But if you are still angry and still you are looking for an opportunity to take the revenge, you are still seeking some opportunity to insult the person then it is part of psychological memory. An awakened one has only factual memories. He is not involved in any way emotionally with those memories, whether it is husband, whether it is wife or anyone. Number of times people at times they put the comments which are to some extent derogatory, although they do not fulfill the criteria, this, the criteria set by YouTube. I have no right, I do not delete those because that comment belongs to that person and it explains something about him, not about me. When someone says something about you, if you have understanding, you know this is your opinion about that, about you. And for me, I do not live in the opinions of others. I have known what is my reality, Aham Brahmasmi, ever expanding consciousness, then what others say or what they have the opinion about me, it matters not. As you become more and more meditator or go deeper into meditation, psychological memory will start disappearing. But factual memory will become clear, very clear. Now your energy is not divided the psychological memory was creating a kind of darkness around this fact that this person has insulted you. So, you, our thoughts are going on, why did he say so? Why did he behave in this manner? I must take revenge from that person. You were not detached from this. The insult that the person or the words that person has said had inflicted you and you are affected by it. You are not a far away observer. You were too much attached to it. And then sometimes it happens for years, for years upon years, we remain attached to those moments for or against it does not matter as you become more and more a witness to your mind you get disidentified a process of disidentification begins it arises with the mind and all its content because memory remains part of the mind. As Shankar says, one of the space, the one of the aspect of the mind is a storehouse of the memory. It is here, the 
past experiences, they become the memory. And whenever you experience, you are in a new situation. The senses send information to the mind, to the lab, where it is processed with the existing information. And if there is no corresponding existing information, the response comes out differently than when there is corresponding information and that gives you the opinion result based on what is stored in the memory. So now you are not identified with this. The process of this identification with this storehouse of the memory begins. Your memory will become clear, crystal clear, because now there is no fog of emotions and subsequent reactions around it. You can meet a person who has insulted you as if who has insulted you in the past, but you have been disidentified. So it is as if he has never insulted you. Although you know factually that he has insulted you, but because you are not affected by his insult, now you know that is his problem. If he said something unpleasant about you, it is his opinion, his problem, not yours. You have not taken the insult. It did not affect you. It did not touch you in any way. You are free to say now because you are not identified with it. He is free to say anything whether he says it or not. He can keep it in his mind. It is his problem. Sometimes people meet you on the surface deep down they carry the wounds, the psychological wounds, the emotional disturbances within. Although on the surface they behave in public as if they are very intimate and close friends, it happens. But behind the back, they are talking bad about each other. This is very often seen among the spouses. They, when they have a public appearance, they appear holding hands, walking snuggled, but deep down, when they are alone, their true nature surfaces. So this is where there is no spiritual memory and this is the process. The factual memory is not the problem. It is the psychological memory that creates a problem for you and you have to come out of that psychological memory as this the talks continue, I will speak other dimensions of psychological memory and explain to you how to come out of that memory. Meditation is the one of the way to come out of the psychological memory. And psychological or emotional wounds enough for now.